Hey guys, it's your girl AJ and I'm back for another video. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a, a simple uncrossing working. Now there are tons of videos out there that are going to tell you all different types of stuff, but this is something that I was taught when I was going through my first uncrossing or my first crossing situation and I didn't have a lot of money. Like the crossing work affected my finances and everything. So I didn't have a lot of money to do all this extra stuff. And like a lot of um, videos that I've seen online require you to have a figure candle and this and like dual colors, dual action. And it can be as simple as a white candle, a taper candle that you can get at the 99 cent store or a black candle if you have one. Now, if you want to go online and you want to look at like a red and a black candle that are like half and half dual, or if you want to do a skull that's like uncrossing of the mind or whatever, there's going to be different elements for this, but I'm just going to teach you a simple basic one that you can do immediately and you can store a bunch of white candles in your house and it's not going to be something that people are going to be like, what, is, what the hell is that candle for? Like, you know, if you're someone who practices in uh, secret, this is a really great way of doing that work without having to deal with anybody saying some, some shit, okay? So, all you're gonna need is a white taper candle. It doesn't have to be this long. Now, if you can find like those emergency candles that they have in the nights and store that are like this big, it can be as simple as that, or if you have something uh, like a white um, candle that's in, encased in glass, you can use it for that as well. Um, do what you have but I would get a long one so that it, the, the intention goes for a little bit longer than a couple of minutes. Like I wouldn't use this on a chime candle or a birthday candle, but if that's all you ha have, like I would do it like for a week. If all I had was a birthday candle or chime candles, I'd do this work for a week straight to accumulate that energy. So you're gonna need some type of a cleansing agent to cleanse your candle and your plate. Um, a plate that you're gonna put it on so that way it will stick and stay in place and you know won't go anywhere. You're gonna need parchment paper to write your petition and you're gonna need uncrossing powder. If you haven't watched my uncrossing uh, powder video, go ahead and check it out before you start this work so you can make your own. If you can't afford to do all that and you want to just go and have and buy it, there are tons of places that sell uncrossing powders already made pre-packaged so that way you don't have to worry about having all these things and these ingredients. Next you're gonna to wanna to use an uncrossing oil. Um, and this is pretty common too, you can pretty much find this anywhere online, an uncrossing oil um, is very, very important obviously for an uncrossing work. And then I'm also going to be using my uh, Black Destroyer from Conjacardia. Now, Black Destroyer is really, really great for breaking curses, hexes, jinx, and completely destroying anything that is in the pathway of whatever it is that's happening that in your life. Like if you're, if there's some type of a working that you feel is being done against you, or if there's just an obstacle or a block, it will completely obliterate that block and destroy it. So we want that in this working. So we're gonna pair those together. Now let's jump right into it. So first things first is you're always going to want to cleanse. And I talk about this all the time. Cleanse yourself, cleanse your space, cleanse the, the tools that you're using, cleanse everything before you start doing any type of work. Have incense burning or have a sage going Palo Santo. Get yourself some Florida water and stock up because anytime you do workings, you don't want the energy that you've been taking in from your day-to-day -day life or anything that you don't really even know it could be blocking you from really stepping into your power and doing this work. You wanna remove that and prepare yourself for ritual. So I'm gonna do just a little on the plate. You're gonna put a little bit in your hand and you're just gonna go up and down the candle and just make sure you get the bottom part of the candle, the top, the wick. Completely cover this in the Florida water. We're gonna do a little around here on the plate. Now we're going to start with our petition. Now this is a piece of parchment paper that I made. If you guys want a video on how to make parchment paper, I will do that. Please comment down below. Let me know that's what you wanted me to do, but otherwise I'm sure you can go online and find a hundred different ways to make parchment paper. 
um, or you could purchase it. Or if you don't have parchment paper and you only have lined paper, it's okay. You can use lined paper or you can use white paper. Only thing that I would say is important for you to remember is that you don't want to just write on this piece of paper with the machine cut edges. You want to tear the paper um, that you're going to be using. So we're going to be sending the energy that of this work away from us. So we're going to tear away. Okay? And we're going to tear it again. And I I will go this way. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to tear it away. And I'm going to tear it away. Now I have a piece of a petition paper with no machine cut edges that is ready to be used for this working. Now you can use these extra pieces later on in other work. So on our petition paper, I'm going to write my name and my birthday. And it can be as simple as this. Uncross, uncross, uncross over the top of that petition. It doesn't have to be more complex than that, honestly. I know people who will write a whole paragraph essay and all sorts of shit. You don't have to do that. Just write your name, full name, and your birthday three times. Jane Doe. Jane Doe. Jane Doe. October 12th. 1992. I don't know. That's a made up birthday. I, uh, you know, hope there's no one named Jane Doe <laughs> whose birthday is October 12th, 1992. But, you know, anything is possible in this universe. So, here it is. Here's the petition. Now, you're going to turn it to your left. We're going away. We're sending it away. We want to be uncrossed, so we're sending it away from us. And now I'm going to write on here, uncross, um, you, could, you could say uncross me, uncross me, uncross me, or I am uncrossed, I am uncrossed, I am uncrossed. You want to tell it what it's doing and you want to say it in the affirmative. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Uncross, 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 all right? Very simple, you guys. We're not going crazy. Now we're going to just turn it slightly and we're going to endorse this petition. Okay? Now, Jane Doe, Jane Doe, Jane Doe. Your endorsement is going to be like when you sign a check, like you are endorsing this into the into the universe as you are making this petition. So that's a very important step. And then you're done, okay? Now, now what I would do is I'd fold it away again, turn it to the left, fold it one more time, and turn it again, fold it one more time. What you're gonna do with this is I put this underneath the plate where the candle is. I don't want this to go underneath the candle. I also want to stick my candle to the plate so that it doesn't move around or fall down while it's being uh, used. So this is gonna go under the plate. Now, we are going to take our cleansed white candle and we are going to dress this candle with our oils. So, um, Depending on what kind of uh, uncrossing oil that you use, some of them might be toxic. So you want to just find out, make sure, can I put this on my hands and rub this? If you can't, use gloves, okay? Um, so here is the Black Destroyer from uh, Contracardia. Like I said before in the video, Black Destroyer is meant to destroy all obstacles and break hexes, curses, jinxes, crossings, all of that, completely destroy them. It can also be used as a way to block or to destroy um, obstacles in the mind, things that are stopping you from, from you know, getting work done, from pursuing your career, from loving yourself more in, uh, intensely. Any type of blockage or any type of thing that is holding you back or standing in your way, this will clear that. So. It's not necessarily like when I first started researching Black Destroyer, I was like, oh wow, that's probably something, you know, something more for baneful magic. And then when I read it, I was like, oh, it's actually not used on 
enemies, this is used to clear blockages. So I thought it would be fitting to use that in this work. So I'm just gonna take just a little bit on my hand. Again, I will link the shop in the description below. All right, and I'm just gonna bless this. While I'm putting this oil on, focusing on my intention, I'm saying my prayers, my affirmations, I'm uncrossing myself, I'm uncrossing the work that has been done. We're destroying any cross it, crossing works, any hexes. Now we're going to add our uncrossing oil. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you get the entire candle, top to bottom, bottom of the wick, as well as uh, top. Ooh, I can smell that uncrossing oil, baby. I can smell ya. If you, for whatever reason, don't have any of this, you don't have any of these oils, you could use olive oil. Okay, olive oil is really good for protection and it's really great, it's an all-purpose um, oil. And a lot of people will use it as a base for making their own oils at home. So if you don't have anything else, you can use olive oil, rub this down. Now we're going to use our uncrossing powder. Now there's two ways you can do this and I'm gonna show you both ways. You can sprinkle this powder around the rim of the plate along with salt or you can put this on the candle itself. And I've done videos like this in the past on my channel on how to actually put the herbs on the candle and I will show you guys that next. Um, but either way it goes, you wanna make sure that you're using this powder effectively and that you're blessing and activating it for the work. So now you want a white piece of paper and you wanna lay your blessed and oiled candle on the white piece of paper. You're going to take your powder and you're gonna do a sprinkling over the top of the candle. Now don't, don't worry if it doesn't, you know, perfectly fall on top of the candle. I'm gonna show you how to fix that later, okay? You're just gonna shake it over the top, making sure you're getting it real good. Try to fill any of the gap spaces on the candle. Okay, I'm gonna bring you in a little closer here so that you can see what I'm about to do. So we are rolling these, this candle in the excess herbs. All right, so now we are going to, we are going to glue our candle to the bottom of the plate. Now you're gonna take a lighter and you're just gonna warm up the bottom. You want it to drip down so that the wax is the glue that keeps the plate on or keeps the, the candle on the plate. Remember your petition paper is underneath this, this plate so you don't have to worry about it catching on fire. Now I'm going to take my sea salt Actually, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, so now I'm going to take some of my uncrossing powder and I'm going to put a little trail of this around the edge. All right, so now we have put the uncrossing powder and now I'm gonna go back again with some sea salt. And the next portion of this it's very easy. Now you're going to light your candle. This candle will probably take maybe maybe a couple of hours, maybe a day. It could, depending on the type of table candle that it is, it could take 24 hours or less. And so this work will be done. Watch this work because this is a free standalone candle. You're gonna need to watch it till it gets down to the bottom. You don't wanna cause a house fire, or whatever the case may be. Don't leave this unattended. The reason why this is so great is because it's going to burn out faster. Whereas if you were to put it in a glass encased candle, 
then it might take it a little bit longer to burn and you'd have to turn it on and off and you don't want to do that. You want it to burn continuously, okay, from start to finish. So remember that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys. If you guys are interested in seeing some more uncrossing and protection work, keep watching for my series and um, I will see you guys in my next video. Be blessed. No.